In this question, it is given that a steel rod of 20 mm in diameter passes centrally through a steel tube of 25 mm internal diameter and 30 mm external diameter. The tube is 800 mm long and is closed by rigid washers of negligible thickness, which are fastened by nuts threaded on the rod. The nuts are tightened until the compressive load on the tube is 20 kN. Calculate the stresses in the tube and the rod. Find the increase in these stresses when one nut is tightened by one quarter of a ton relative to the other. There are 4 threads per 10 mm. Take E equal to 2 multiplied by 10 to the power 5 Newton per millimeter square. So this is a famous problem of nut and bolt where we have to find the stresses in steel rod and steel tube when a load of 20 kN is applied by tightening the nut. This is the one part of this question. Second part is if we further tighten the nut by one quarter of a turn then what are the stresses developed. We can find out the pitch using this uh, data given 4 threads per 10 mm and also the modulus of elasticity of the material is given. So let us solve this problem. In this question, we are given with a nut bolt assembly. There is a uh, nut bolt pr problem. This is a famous nut bolt problem in which there is a tube and there is a rod, right, which can be called bolt also. So rod and tube assembly is there and nut is tightened and nut is tightened so that there is 20 kN of load that is compressive load is developed in the tube. 20 kN of load is developed in the tube and we have to find out the stresses, the stresses developed in tube and rod, right. We are uh, saying uh, in the stress in uh, rod as sigma r and stress in tube as sigma t, right. You already know that, you already know that in theory lecture that whenever we apply a force by uh, we are not applying a force externally we are just tightening the nut whenever nut are tightened as there is no external force applied so force shared by tube should be equal to force shared by road and that should be of opposite sign that if tube is compressing the road will be extending right so there will be there will be tensile force tensile stress developed in the road tensile stress developed in the road right this is our rod and compressive stress will be developed in the tube this we have already studied compressive stress developed in the tube sigma t i am writing here sigma t so compressive stresses are developed in the tube and tensile stress developed in the rod and as there is no external force applied so these two forces these two forces should be equal to say it should be equal right and the dia of the uh, rod and dia of the tube is also given area area of the tube and rod can be obtained from these dia right so from the basics we know that if this much load is applied 20 kN kilo, kilo load same load be shared by the rod but in tensile in nature because pt in tube it will be compressive so by equation we can write that the load in tube must be equal to load in rod in magnitude in magnitude this is tube t for tube r for rod right or we can write sigma t a t the st stress multiplied by area in tube that is equal to sigma s is sigma r a r right and here from here sigma t is unknown we, we want to find out sigma t a t sigma t a t is given to us sigma t a t is given to us that is the force in tube right so force in tube is sigma t a t so from here we can find out what is sigma t so what is sigma t that is equal to p t upon a t force in tube but uh, area of the tube and force in tube is we have applied 20 kN initially. So 20 multiplied by 10 to the power 3 divided by area of the tube. Area of the tube. Inner dia is 25, outer dia is 30 mm. These dimensions are in mm. Right? Dimensions are in mm. So we can write 5 by 4 
d square 30 square minus 25 square whatever answer we will get that will be in uh, mega pascal because this is in millimeter square right so the stress developed in tube stress developed in tube will be equal to 92.6 90.2.6 mega pascal isn't it yes now from this relation that the force in tube should be equal to force in road so we can also find out the relation between sigma t and sigma r so what will be the re relation between sigma t and sigma r we can also find out this also right so this is one of the answer the stress developed in sigma t we have found out that is 92.6 mega pascal this is our one of the answer now from this relation sigma t a t is equal to sigma r a r we can write sigma r will be equal to we can find out the stress in road sigma r that is equal to sigma t a t by sig a r that will be equal to a t a t is the area of tube that is pi by 4 30 square minus 25 square 30 square minus 25 square divided by area of the road that is 20 square pi by 4 20 square 20 square multiplied by sigma t so we can get the relation between sigma r and sigma t solving this right this is this will be further used in another uh, part of this question right sigma r will be equal to 0 0.68 sigma r will be equal to 0 0.6875 sigma t so this is the relation between sigma r and sigma t right this is important relation used by the load sharing right and sigma t is already obtained 92.6 from here we can find out sigma r so from here sigma r can be obtained as 0.6275 sigma r can be found out 0.6875 multiplied by sigma t and sigma t is 92.6 92.6 so sigma r will be equal to solving it uh, it will be 92.6 times 0.6872 so you will get 63.66 63.66 mega pascal the stress in road when a force of 20 kilo newton is applied so when you apply a 20 kN load, the stress in tube is stress in tube is 92.6 and stress in road is 63.66. So this is the one part of this question. But there is another part also. In another part, it is saying that this is applied, that is okay. Now what is happening is further we have uh, we have tightened the nut. One quarter of a turn, one quarter of a turn is tightened, right? It means that the revolution is one fourth of uh, the revolution, or one fourth of the total 30 60 degree angle. So we can write n from here, we can find out the n number of revolutions that is equal to 1 by 4. This much revolution is there, right? Because n will be used in the formula. So one quarter of a turn means one fourth of the uh, complete cycle. So one four by four revolution. Now there are four threads this is given that there are four threads per 10 mm from here we can find out the pitch what is pitch pitch is the distance between two threads right the distance between two threads that is the pitch it means the distance between two two threads is 10 by 4 mm so from here we can find out the pitch that is 10 by 4 mm so we have got got the number of revolutions we have got the pitch of the threads right now when we are applying when we are tightening the nut by one fourth revolution there will be stresses developed in tube and road right suppose the stresses developed are sigma r dash in road due to one fourth revolution and sigma t dash in tube so sigma r dash is the four stress developed in road that is tensile and sigma t, t dash is the stress developed in tube and that is a compressive right and because the force will be equal in tube and rod so again this relation will prevail this relation is again valid because we have obtained this relation with the force equality right so again 
part two of this uh, question for the part two of this question part two of this question that this relation is again valid that sigma t dash a t will be equal to sigma r dash a r and the relation will remain same because area is the same right so you will get again that sigma r dash will be equal to 0 0.6875 0 0.6875 sigma t dash so this relation is still valid this relation is still valid right and this relation is obtained from the force equality the compressive force in tube should be equal to tensile force in rod now we know that the actual moment actual advancement of the nut will be equal to the compression in tube plus the extension in rod right so by this formula that the deformation or extension in rod plus the compression contraction in tube that will be equal to actual advancement of the nut actual advancement of nut and that is given by number of revolutions multiplied by the pitch np right so delta lr plus delta lt will be equal to number of revolutions multiplied by pitch this is the actual advancement of the nut right so n times of the pitch is the actual advancement so this equation is the important equation of the nut and bolt and both are made of steel and modulus of elasticity is given 200 gigapascal so what is delta lr delta lr is the deformation in rod and that is tensile that is tensile so sigma r will be producing the deformation so that we can write our basic formula uh, basic formula we can write that sigma r l upon a pl upon ae or stress into length by e e sigma l upon e that is the deformation in rod plus deformation in tube that is sigma t dash we are taking now dash lt upon et that must be equal to np right length is constant length is same for tube and uh, rod 800 mm is also same both are steel tube is also of steel and uh, rod is of steel also so we can write here sigma r dash l is same e is same plus sigma t dash l is same e is same that is equal to np further we can solve further we can solve and we can find out the relation between sigma r and sigma t sigma r and sigma t we can find out the relation and using that relation we can find out the uh, these two relation using these two relation we can find out the uh, stress in tube and stress in uh, rod right so or you can put this value sigma r dash value here sigma r dash value, you will get a sigma t dash and one unknown will be there so put the sigma r dash value here and length and e is known to us so sigma r dash is sigma r dash sigma r dash is 0.6875 sigma t dash so point 6875 sigma t dash multiplied by length 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 of the road is 800 mm 800 because we are taking the pitch in millimeter so that's why we are length we are taking in millimeter divided by divided by e e modulus of rigidity that is uh, modulus of elasticity that is 200 giga pascal 200 you can convert it into pascal Pascal, right? So, uh, if you convert it into uh, mega Pascal, mega Pascal, the answer will come in mega Pascal. So, you can convert into mega Pascal also, writing 10 to the power 3. Now, this this is in mega Pascal, and your sigma t will come in mega Pascal by this, right? Plus sigma t dash, which is unknown, length is same, 800 divided by e is again same. 200 multiply 10 to the power 3 this much mega pascal of e the answer will come in mega pascal 
and that is equal to n, n is 1 by 4 and p, p is 10 by 4. Now here there is only one unknown. What is the unknown? The stress in uh, tube, sigma t dash, right? So what is sigma t dash? Solve it by using uh, calculator, take your time and solve it. After solving, I hope that you have solved it. After solving, you will get that the same value you have obtained, whatever we obtained the stress in previous uh, uh, part of this question, 92.6, you will find that same value, sigma t dash, that is equal to 92.6 megapascal. Again, you will get this value. And put this value in this equation, in this equation, equation number 1, and get the sigma r value, right? So put in one, this is one of the answer, this is this is one of the answer. Previously we have obtained two answers, sigma t and sigma r. Uh, so put this value, put in one and get the value of sigma r dash. And again, you will get the uh, stress in this, in the same value 63.66. This is by chance we are getting same value for sigma t dash and sigma r dash. Right. So after applying a one quarter of a turn revolution of the nut tightening, we are getting the same stress, same stress in tube and same stress in road, which we have obtained with 20 kN load applied in the previous part of this question. It means, what it means? It means that one quarter of a turn, one quarter turn tightening of a nut is equivalent to the 20 kN load applied in the tube. One quarter of a turn of the uh, turning the nut, right, is equivalent to 20 kN load applied in the tube. So that's why we are getting the same answer as that of the previous part of this question.